interesting. Okay, that's great uh, learning. Sri Ram, of course, is a um, loans and recoveries expert, so he'd know uh, these things very well. Okay, great. So, any questions on this, guys? On insurances, so this is a great way of if you've been worried about the first part of the session, then these are tools that you can use to you know clear the hurdle so that then we can start sprinting to our 10 crore goal. Okay, now I want you to take a second and just imagine how would it feel if you had no loans and you have all your insurances in place and you have six months worth of expenses stashed away somewhere. I mean, really, take a second to imagine how would it feel if you had that kind of money stashed away? Would you breathe easy? Would you just, you know, you, you can just imagine that relief in you if you had that kind of money. Have you ever been out in the rain? You know it's going to rain and then take the umbrella. Right? A normal event now has become an emergency. Right, an event has now become an emergency. Pranit says, just found that Policy Bazaar has an employment insurance. I haven't gone through it, but it's there. Okay, great. Pranit, would you like to share that in the group? We can have a discussion with that. That'd be great. Yeah, share it in the WhatsApp group so we can at peace read through and then. Thank you. Yeah, great. Guys, this is amazing. If you find anything of use to the rest of us, please share it in the group. Yeah. So emergency funds are a very, very useful, critical step in the whole process. So putting six months money away. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Dinesh. So it turns what would have been a minor event and, uh, you know, a major emergency into a small inconvenience. It, it's fully capable. If you have that kind of money stashed away, you can turn what would be a major emergency into a little inconvenience. Okay, the car is broken down or the house needs a, you know, some kind of a fixing. What could have become a major emergency now is a small little tiny inconvenience. Okay, if you carried that umbrella and gone, the rain is an event. It's just a little inconvenience. It's not an emergency. Right, so if you can put that money away for emergency, that'd be the first step. Six months, six times monthly living expenses. This is precisely why it is there before investments in our nine steps. So if you remember the nine steps, the first one we saying put one lakh away, then we're looking at uh, paying off all the non-mortgage loans. And then we're talking about uh, putting away six times monthly living expenses. So six times, if my monthly living expenses are uh, two lakh rupees, including all EMIs and loans and all the, if I've paid off my loans, then I'm just putting away my mortgage loans, then I'm putting away 12 lakh rupees in savings for my living expenses. Right. When can you use this emergency funds? Ask yourself these questions. Is it unexpected? If it was something that you expected to happen, you save up for it. If it is unexpected, you can use the emergency fund. Is it necessary to fix this? If it's not necessary, you can skip or is it urgent? Then if you have an answer, yes, yes, yes for this, then you use up the emergency funds. And then the next few months, you're topping up the emergency funds. And at all point in time, you're ensuring you have this six month kind of money put away. This is removing one big hurdle in your journey to 10 crores. Where can you keep this money? You can keep it in bank deposits and you can keep it in money market mutual funds. If there are any other ideas, I'm happy to hear them. These are two things that I could think of where to keep your emergency funds. Okay. So, Bhuvna, can I add a point here? Yes, Neelam. Yes. Uh, usually when people plan for emergency funds, they only plan for the EMIs and the household expenses. Yeah. SIP is one thing that people immediately cancel when uh, they face uh, lack of uh, savings or yeah. lack of money to meet their expenses. So I would recommend people to also consider uh, SIPs as a part of emergency funds so that your savings are also happening while you're sailing through the journey of life. Okay, so that's an interesting point that you're making. Um, so if it's an emergency and I do a lack of SIP, then my need for emergency will go up to that uh, extent. Correct. Right? And when I'm keeping money away for emergency, I would keep them in very safe places. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, there are also uh, mutual funds uh, available in the market you would be very much aware of, which are used for uh, storing the emergency funds. I would just give an example. Uh, we have active account with uh, Aditya Birla Sun Life uh, mutual fund available where up to 50,000 rupees can be withdrawn within a minute uh, without any hassle. If you have made savings. Money market funds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money market funds. So just as an example uh, that, you know, you can store the money in these kind of funds where in case of an emergency, you can withdraw at least up to 50,000 rupees out of your savings uh, within a minute. 
Okay. So you're saying there are mutual fund investments that you can just go out and withdraw as if you're withdrawing from a savings bank account. Absolutely.